Hey everyone, back again with you. Another video on the updates and accessories to my AR-15. Uh, this is video number 12 out of the series I'm doing on this. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, go ahead and jump out to my uh, channel and check those out. Uh, the upgrades we're making are to the Smith & Wesson MMP-15T or Tactical. Uh, this is going to cover the handguard. Uh, as you can see, the Smith & Wesson did come with uh, a standard handguard here. Um, it's actually got the Smith & Wesson logo on it, and it's just a one-piece rubber, uh, I don't know, kind of a composite material, I guess. Pretty heavy-duty. Like I said, it's got the, the logo on there, so it's kind of nice. It doesn't really allow much airflow through, and it just feels like just a kind of a cheaper little piece of plastic. So I wanted to go ahead and up, upgrade that and see what else was out there and what else I could use. Uh, what I came across after a little bit of research was the... Uh, Magpul XTM rail panels and I uh, went with this one uh, mainly because it is breathable and it is modular. Um, I thought it was going to be more of a, um, a rubbery material. It is actually more of a plastic hard composite material, actually even harder than the original Smith & Wesson here, which is actually fine. Uh, these have a higher heat resistance uh, compared to some of those um, lighter um, more pliable type materials so um, you can actually see the I can bend that these aren't you're not going to be able to do that with uh, again that that sometimes gives it a little bit more heat resistance um, the big port the big reason I, I purchased this was mainly because they are modular as you can see it comes with uh, two pieces that you combine together to make one on the rail itself it comes with four of these pairs so it gives you a, a good sizable amount of um, rail cover on there for one package I think one package ran eight dollars I bought three packages so I'm able to kind of cover both sides and then maybe a little bit on the lower portion of the rail um, shouldn't add a whole lot of weight to the gun these are really light I don't know exactly how light these are but obviously it's just a light composite material uh, plastic so it's not going to really add a lot of weight to your gun either way um, I'll go ahead and take the gun down, put them on, and we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like afterwards. Alright guys, so to put this on it's pretty easy. Uh, it does come with instructions, but I'll show you real quick here. Um, what you want to do is just take one piece, go ahead and slide it into the rail position that you want it. Um, what I would recommend is making sure it's real nice and tightly fit over the rail itself. Uh, you want to take your bottom piece, and really what these guys do is they just kind of come together and clip together. Um, and you just kind of push them in. You'll see that the seal and right in the middle of the piece will come together. Uh, you kind of want that seal to be 100% uh, closed all the way if you can. Uh, you shouldn't have any play in it at all. Should be on there nice and tight. To take these off, they do recommend uh, using two non-sharp objects. So, uh, you know, uh, the, bu the bullet tip of a 5.56 five, round or what I'm using here are just two Allen wrenches. Come up from both sides on these clips that are holding them together. Uh, one word of advice is I heard is if you do clip these together without it being on a rail, it's very difficult to get them apart because the rail is actually uh, used as the pivot point for uh, allowing these to be removed. Uh, but as you give pressure upwards on these tabs, uh, and as you notice, you can kind of work them out there it does take a little bit of time, but eventually they'll come apart just like that. So not too difficult. What I'm going to do is put them on my rail, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, got it installed. Everything went in pretty easily. There wasn't any issues with getting them on. Um, one thing I did notice is I had to use a hand file along the edges on the left and right uh, to kind of sand away a little, kind of a sharp little edge or pinpoint that was coming out. It was where they uh, broke away from the moldings, I think, on these individual pieces. Uh, the, the file worked real easily, just kind of real quickly filed them away and it wasn't an issue. Um, but as you can see here, I got three along the front here. I got that on the left and the right. And then towards the back here on the left and right, I also have two. And then on the bottom front, I have two there. So when I'm not using the vertical foregrip and I'm holding it up towards the front rail there, I'm not touching any of the rail itself. I almost think I want to go back and put a couple more on the bottom here, but I'll have to buy another package. I'll just see if I ever need it really or how my hand, if, if it ever goes to that position. So, um, 
I am going to have to do something about the top rails here. I'm going to eventually get some optics on there, so I'm not sure if I want to hold off on waiting to see what kind of optics I get to, to fill up the rest of this space, but we'll just kind of see how that plays out. In the meantime, though, this works really well. I've kind of used it up a little bit, uh, held the gun. Seems like it's a real nice fit. Feels good in the hand, so can definitely recommend it at this point. Um, again, these are the Magpul XTM rail panels. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.